Stanislav, I am a doctor practicing medicine in the country outside of the US. And I'm thinking about getting a green card based on EB1A or EB2 in a W visa categories, but I'm afraid that my case will not be approved because I do not have license in the US. Can you please address this issue? Of course, guys, you are the source of my video content. So I will take a great pleasure to respond to this question. And also you will learn how to get a free evaluation of your cases for EB1A and EB2 in IW if you're a doctor or other certified licensed professional. Let's go. Hello, my dear friends. I'm Stanislav Shamayev, a licensed business immigration and corporate attorney in Miami, Florida. Today we're discussing the licensing issue for EB1A and EB2 in IW categories because this is a concern for many of you not to start your case and I hope I will make sure that your fear is going to go away. Let's begin with a little bit uh, general terms and remember what are those visas? Maybe one of you is a doctor, but you're like, oh my God, a doctor could get a green card to the US? Absolutely. And EB1A is a talent visa, which has 10 criteria. We need to prove three of them. And you, your spouse, your kids will get the green card, with kids below 21 years old, uh, based on one approval. The timing for the case is six months of working with myself and my team under my methodology, my processes, filing the case, getting all the uh, pers immigration procedures within the next nine to 12 months. So it's a year and a half from the day you started your case to get in the US with green cards. EB2 in IW is a case where you provide for some type of project, some idea of endeavor, which will be in the national interest of the United States government. Doctors are, are, are a great fit for this program as well, although I believe that EB1A is a better option between these two. So if we have both of those visas, which is a case in many cases, I will go with EB1A just because it's less subjective and it's faster to get the residency for you and your family, okay? And what separates those two visas from all other immig immigrant visas in the immigration law in the US? Well, there is one huge advantage for both of them. You do not have to have an employer. Every other visa, maybe with, ex with a little sub exception for EB-5 passive investment, do require the employer in the US. These two, although may have an employer, but, which, but it's not required by law. Very important, important to understand. Now, let's get to the issue of licensing. I've been doing these videos for long and recently the strategy department, the marketing department, the approval department from my company, and you guys, if you didn't know, my company has more than 100 people working in it with 10 departments. Some directors and even regular employees uh, would say, Stanislav, you're giving away our secrets for nothing. <laughs> and those, that kind of information is like, uh, it's really hard to get. And you know, I agree. I agree with that. I think only those clients who uh, uh, are working with my company must get the best benefits of working with us. And I'm not gonna talk about our exclusive private business club, only approved clients have access to it. We have more than 170 people from across the world in it, and best people, the talented, the businesses, the businessmen and women, investors with the National Interest Waiver Projects, best, best people. I'm not gonna discuss the NEO program where we could get you the, the independent expert opinion letters from within the company. The cost of one letter like that in the industry is $1,500, right, one five. That's a lot of money. We can get those letters for free. And I'm not gonna discuss all the templates or examples, the processes. From the words of my clients, we are the best in the industry. I kinda agree because we put so much work in this. And also, 
and not to mention the Neo Plus program. Maybe for a different day. Now we're talking about the uh, licensing. I'll give you some secrets away, okay? And those are easy because if you read uh, Dan Azar case for EB2 and IW, you can find even more in that case because they give examples. One of the examples is continuing the research. A lot of you doctors doing the research or want to do the research. So continuing doing the research is one of those options where you don't have to have a license, okay? You can get uh, that going for both EB1A and EB2 in IW. But that's not, that one is not the easiest one. There are the better options how you can get around the licensing requirement because otherwise you're not well positioned to continue bringing the benefit to the US. I will tell you that we know how to do that. I got anywhere between 20 to 30 uh, approvals for doctors for EB1A for the past uh, two years. Just for the past two years, I'm not taking my entire career, uh, uh, which is almost 10 years working for my corporation. It's kind of simple to do. What's not simple, what's not easy, uh, is to do the descriptive work for each criteria that we're going to be claiming in your case. That one takes a lot of work, a lot of commitment, a lot of hours, and improving your case also takes a lot of, uh, a lot of energy, okay? So for me, the licensing requirement is the very last thing which I'm not worrying about because we have the approach based on your case, based on the structure of your case and based on your career. My message to you, you do not have to have the license to practice medicine in the US if you're a foreign doctor, as long as we can get you the criteria for EB1A or, or EB2 and a W. That's what you need to worry about, the criteria. To get to know if you get the criteria in place or the minimum criteria to start, you guys need to get a free evaluation. Again, the links below this video, find EB2 and IW or EB1A, you can, you can do both, okay? No restrictions, give me two days, I'll get back to you. If I see the potential, we'll invite you to the complex immigration planning and everything is fine, we can start your case and get you approved in six months. Licensing is not a problem. What a pro where the difficulty is, is for you to start your case, okay? Any doctor who has more or less five, seven years of experience can get the green card either way. And we know how to get that done. Get the free evaluation, go to the complex immigration planning, start your case with a complete case filing. These are the three steps of you successfully coming to the States and continuing your work here. And you may get licensed after you got here, okay? If you wanna do this, if you wanna practice medicine, which I do think is the, one of the best options for you because it gets a very high pay in the US, okay? I don't know any doctor who makes less than 250,000 a year and that's in the beginning of the career. A lot of doctors make a half a meal, seven, eight hundred thousand dollars Good money, good money. So that's totally worth to get that license uh, exam done. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, comment, ask me questions, smash that like button if you like this video, and also follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Telegram, Messenger, and other social media platforms available to you. My name is Stanislav Shamayev. I'm a lawyer of the future. Your future begins here. Good luck.